Hey folks, this is Game Master Mike, and we are going to do a re-review of the art of Final Fantasy IX. Now, last time I did this art book review, you know, it wasn't that great because I've said right there a lot. I have to admit that, and I do apologize if I kept on saying right there and annoy much of you. So, I am going to do a re-review of this without me singing right there a lot. Now, um, I bought this art book at EB Games years ago because I have fallen in love with Final Fantasy IX. How to buy tons of merchandise such as a VB plushie, a calendar, and other things. Plus, I picked this art book up for $20 which is very fantastic. So we are going to open this. There's the introduction. We got the um, table of contents. By the way, these art book is by Brady Games. Here's um, the characters. Here's all the main characters that you see in Final Fantasy IX. Here's Zidane. Um, I used to call him Zidane, but that's not how you say it all these years. It's, um, Zidane. Dagger. Here's the, um, original design, and here's the, uh, fan art design. Vivi, my most favorite character of all time out there. I really do enjoy Vivi, because he's adorable. Diner, Freya, Quinna, Amaranth, Eco. Here's all the non-playing characters. You got Zorn and Thorn. So much detail in all this artwork. I also like the uh, pencil drawn and everything that's included with it. There's the chocobos and moogles. You got the fat chocobo and all the moogles that will help you in the game, which are also serves as save points and tents. Here's all the animals in Final Fantasy IX. Gwena sure loves to eat frogs. And here is the world. You got Alexandria. You got the uh, castle in Alexandria, which to me that is um, extremely complicated to draw. I tried to um, draw some landscapes of this, but... It's really hard to do, which is pretty amazing. You got the Black Mage Village. There's Bermechia, is that how you pronounce it? How beautiful is that? There's a Queen Brawn. Clara. Pond Petey, is that how you say it? Desert Palace. Lindblum. 
Wow, how beautiful is that? Imagine me trying to do that in pencil work. I think I can do that again, but it's going to take some time. South and North Gate. The Ifa Tree. Trino. And the airships. How beautiful design are all the airships. And here are all the monsters. And you also have summons as well. Here's all the weapons. You got the swords and short swords. Claws, spears, stabs, rods, forks, rackets, flutes, and other weapons. You got hammers. Here's all the items. And here is the cinemas. How beautiful. There's the Bahamut at Ifa Tree. Bahamut again. There's Kuja. Vivi using his magic. There's Steiner. What's this? Oh, another Kuja artwork. Wow, very nice. I have not noticed in this before. How beautiful is that? Cool. This was in my art book, and I did not know that this is here. Wow, that is something. See, you'll find surprises when I do these art book reviews. Who knows what I'll find next? Here's um, some pencil drawings. And to that is, there's the credits, there's the back. Well, folks, there you have it. That is my re-review of the art of Final Fantasy IX. It is pretty good. If you are a huge fan of Final Fantasy IX, I strongly recommend you picking up this art book, which is very fantastic. I have a lot of fun playing this game, and um, it is pretty good. Well, until next time, folks, thanks for watching.